Alberto Camargo for NCAA Digital, back again to pick my best 11 for D1 men's soccer in 2022. I'm working with the same guidelines here as I did for the women's team. That's one player per school and two per conference. So let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Starting in goal, we're headed up to Kalamazoo for Hunter Morse of Western Michigan. The MAC co-goalkeeper of the year leads the country in save percentage and has been a brick wall at the back of the Broncos defense, a unit that has led up just seven goals in 17 games to lead D1 in goals against average. Ahead of Morse is the first of four defenders I've chosen, Noah Golden of Lipscomb. How about a defender leading his team in assists? That's exactly what Golden has done from his position on the right side of the Bison defense, creating eight goals this season. Creative and attack-minded outside backs have become the norm, and Golden embodied that this year for Lipscomb. Kentucky's Louis Grassau is my next pick. He's been at the center of the most impenetrable defense in the Sun Belt and started every game he's been available for this season. The Wildcats are one of just two teams that remain undefeated as of recording, and Grassau has been a huge part of their success. Alongside him is Moyes Bambito of New Hampshire. Though he hasn't played every game this season for the Wildcats, his team is 11-2 in the games he has. Bambito has contributed to 8 clean sheets so far this season while scoring 4 times, including 2 game winners. His impact on the defense and the occasional goal earned him America East Defender of the Year honors. Rounding out the defense is Maryland's Nick Richardson. He's another versatile defender just like Noah Golden, who is just as involved in the offense as he is in snuffing out opposition attacks. Richardson has tallied 13 points for the Terrapins on 3 goals and 7 assists while starting all 18 games so far this season. Moving into midfield, here's where I've got a Duke Blue Devil, it's Peter Stroud. With 1 goal and 5 assists, his numbers won't jump off a screen at you, but his game does. Stroud is the midfield maestro for arguably the best team in the country. He's been named ACC's Midfielder of the Year for the second straight season, the first time that's ever been done. Next to Stroud in midfield are two players that are much more involved in goals for their teams, the first of which is Knut Allender of SMU. Allender has scored 12 goals, that's 6 in the country, from midfield no less, and leads the AAC in points thanks to his 6 assists as well. Despite falling in the AAC semifinals, the Mustangs will be in play for a first round bye in the NCAA tournament, thanks in part to Allender's dynamism. The third and final player in my midfield is UMBC's Ryan Betcher. Here are some numbers that really catch your attention. 13 goals and 10 assists. Betcher is the only player in D1 to have registered double digit totals in both categories, which means he has scored or assisted on more than half of the Retrievers goals this season. That's a remarkable accomplishment for anyone on the pitch, but especially for a midfielder. The forward line is always the hardest to pick because of all the incredible talent on display. My first choice though is Levante Johnson of Syracuse. He arrived in upstate New York after three productive seasons in Seattle and has turned into a clutch performer for the Orange. Five of Johnson's eight goals this season have been game winners as Syracuse has surprised many spectators by not just reaching the top 10, but staying there. And goals are what we all want from a striker, right? Well, how about Creighton's Duncan McGuire? With 18 goals in 18 matches, he leads the country in the simplest part of soccer, putting the ball in the back of the net. He started a season with a hat trick against Oakland, followed by a brace versus Rutgers. Since October 1st, McGuire has scored 12 goals in his last 10 matches, including four in the Big East semifinal win over Seton Hall. My final inclusion in this 11 is Lucas Meek of Washington. The Huskies have spent most of the season holding the top spot in national rankings, and all the while, Meek has led the charge. He leads the team in points and chance creation with 10 goals and 8 assists. Washington is one of my favorites to make a run back to the College Cup this year, and Meek is a huge reason why. So that's my team. There were plenty of other highly talented and productive players I could have included here, but I have listed them as honorable mentions in my Best 11 article on NCAA.com. Make sure you keep checking back with all our coverage of the D1 Men's Soccer Tournament through the College Cup.